Welcome well, back to Dragon's Dogma. I, I am the preacher, the and somewhere I am supposed to be getting led to the location of the young man with a ornate fox. So there's Elizabeth. The we're gonna we're, to meet is nowhere to be seen. we're gonna follow her. I'm the shall preacher. Come back later? This is the wrong time of day for what we have in mind. We shall absolutely we come back later. later. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little bit of pawn maintenance. I'll be right back. And we are back, having picked there up. There is a rumor whispered among pawns that I've oft pondered. The gist yes. of it is, when pawns travel beyond the rift, we can contract a peculiar illness that imperils the lives of those around us. Mm. At first, we are only restless and excitable, but in time, we become so unruly that even the arisen holds no sway over us. That no. sounds most unpleasant. I do hope we shall remain free of it. I agree, Brandonian. I am on your page. Well, I have picked up Vania and Rugal. Same. I like the mix of having a thief and a sorcerer or mage. Go it seems to work out heaven. really, really well. But we also need to have a night's rest. I have not spent any time in the inn of late, and it's about nighttime. So we're going to spend the night. It's going to cost us some coin, but that will send my updated stats. Well, mate. You oh. are come to Shakir's Inn, a place of respite for the weary traveler. True. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Deal. Let's organize storage first. All right, we've done that. We are now going to rest I until have morning. I no falling asleep, even at this time of day. Oh, I'll bet. I do, actually, but that's another story altogether. There we go. You got some stuff. We defeated a Cyclops. And the journey impressed upon me how vast the world truly is. I suffered much injustice at the Arisen's hand. Aww. I, I was told, by the way, that uh, immediately after leaving the city gates, he was dropped in the lake. So <laughs> that was by a harpy, not by the Arisen. Um... Fortune has not favored me, but there's always next time. Well, okay. You've received equipment from an Arisen in another world. Equip it now. I mean, it looks like he's equipped. What is this? A ring of profusion increases the maximum amount of weight the wearer can carry. Oh, golly, yes. I'm going to take it on a travel with Marcus and Elrash. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how I suffered at the hands of golems in that other world. I hope I shan't see another for some time. Golems, yeah. <laughs> Not seen any either. Come. Oh. We've much to be getting on with. Shall we get underway? Randonian has been really getting dressed up, and I have been doing so poorly finding stuff to send pawns. Uh, I shall have to do more better. Let's take a look. See what my man has got. A fiendish armette. Helmet with an elaborate and audacious design. The wearer's gaze is sure to inspire terror. Let's just go to the armor here. Weaponry. Daughter of the Evening. That's an exquisite looking shield. I love it. Iron shield. I need to deposit some of this stuff, don't I? Um, Steeled Virtue. A blade permitted only to high-ranking officers in the Vermundian army. My goodness, you people are spoiling me. I... That was... Um, that is amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get rid of some equipment here. He's really made out like a bandit here. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Meanwhile, I'm still wearing uh, the first stuff-ish that I bought, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not complaining about that at all. Brandonian, level 17. Look at him. He is very heavy. We're going to do a little bit more of... Are you... got a headache? Huh. Somebody on the Discord server, and you should come join the Blue Lizard Jello Discord server. Yeah. Um, somebody had mentioned that uh, signs of a headache were signs of that sickness that they keep talking about, so I better watch him. 
Well met. You, you will soon I'm going to do a little bit more of uh, putting things away. So hold on. <clears throat> okay, we are going to go look for Sven. Is it raining? It is raining. Okay. Let's gather around. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. Let's see. And should my tale entertain you? I need to find hey. out what quest is currently. Listen, it is the ornate box. Now, does this mean that the pawns have information about it? Oh, I might want to chase that information down. Um, view the details of this. You spoke with magistrate. You got to find a place with plenty of tomes. That seems interesting. Okay, let's set this one and then set this one back. I want to see if one of my pawns will say anything about it. No. All right, I am going to come over here and see if there's anything I can do about upgrading my. Perhaps are you in the market for something in particular? Uh, bows? Maybe. Do you have? Uh, let's see here. Savage Fang. Uh, mine is currently level three. I think isn't that what I've got? And so now this is a Savage Fang. Uh, hewn from the teeth of an uncommon beast, rarity itself, and prized for its impressive performance. That's a lot of money. I'll probably find something out there in the wild, wild world. Uh, steel urchin grievous horns. Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. None of it I actually need. All right. That's cool. What about enhancing anything here? Can I? No. That's good. That's just money. Right? Um, until I find something. Let's at least get a level one on these. Right? I like the look. For now, I, I'm probably going to find some stuff. Beast skin, sun bloom, and harpy pinion. You know what? Let's go ahead. What do you want? Leaf worm skin and beast skin. All right. And it gets lighter each time, too. I am not afraid. You're doing good with that stuff. Okay. Uh, we got lots of stuff the last time through. So, got some pretty full enhancement going off. White Cobby, Fulgen Ore, Sinister Fang, and a Lord Fell's Bone. I haven't got any of those yet. Has it been Dragon Forged? Has the Dragon Forged? Holy cow! Okay, well. Always a pleasure. Indeed. Um, I am looking for my little urchin, and where might I find him? Oh, I can't complain, really. Okay, okay. So what about this guy? Am I supposed to follow him? I don't know. Following him for the day seems quite miserable. All right, let's see. I wonder if my 20% discount still applies. Fancy a look at my wares? Uh, yeah, it still seems to. Okay, that's actually come again. quite the bargain. Okay. Very, very good. Alright, well, I had to uh, pause for something there, and that was quite important, so I'm glad I did it. Um, I am not seeing... I'm not seeing my boy anywhere. So maybe I should have had... Oh wait, that's him right there, isn't it? We meet again. Truth be told, I was hoping we might. Indeed. Hi, Sven. Would you care to stay and talk a moment? Let's have a chat. I'm glad. But sit down, won't you? I'm rather fond of this place. Okay. I never imagined a city could be like this. So full of excitement. So alive. All right. And how could I have? In all my life, I've hardly left the palace. My mother mm. is quite strict. You understand. Oft did I long for a taste of normal life. Even aught as simple as going shopping for myself. Indeed. My mother has always procured the things I covet for me, so to 
pick out an item and obtain it with my own hands held a certain appeal. Of course, in the end, you were the one who made the purchase. That's all right. I know you meant well. Besides, I can safely say it was still a novel experience. Indeed. I wanted to give you something in return by way of thanks. Here, this is for you. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Of course. Thank you for indulging me. I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. Okay, so what did he... Yeah. Oh, Jasper. He gave me a Jasper. Well, that's a nice gift. Thank you for that. Uh, can I... Okay, I get up. Now, let's see what else we've got to do. I met him. Let's go back go back to quests. And... I guess we're done with that. Do I get a, a notification that we've finished the thing? Or... Not. I guess we don't. All right, let's go set a quest. Ah, let's go set a quest. And I do kind of want to do the beggar scale thing. But first and foremost, hmm, does somebody here? I'm going to set this as a priority and see if somebody here knows how to do it. As I recall, the location of another of our tasks is not far from here. Okay, is not the only Brandonian, take me there. Is, is he going to lead us? Uh, oh, wait. There is a exclamation point over here. Is there a reason for that? Um, I thought I thought when he made a comment that he was going to guide me to the information. But no such information is happening. So, hmm. Nope, that's not it either. Okay. Wait a minute. What, what place would have a lot of... Hold on. Okay. Let's see if I can find where... Uh, is there something maybe up in the air? Hold on. That's not it? Okay, never mind. I don't know. I don't know. So let's go set some... Are you... Are you the person... I keep my prices as fair as I can afford. Edlina. No. Okay. Look, Master. A treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. I suggest you do that, Brandonian. No? Okay, hold on. All right, let's see if we can find... The quest that I want to have set is Monster Calling. And we need to report back to Brandt. Where, Methinks oh where? This will be of interest to Captain Brandt. Shall we go inform him? We shall do that. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so are we getting led? Or are we not? It's probably not down there. Oh, you know what I also want to do? I want to see about some upgrades. Have you I'm business sure. with the guild, sir? We... I should be glad to assist you. This has been like the most ADD. <laughs> this last few minutes has been the most ADD as I just kind of go from one item to the next. Uh, I'm not changing a vocation yet, but uh, let's do two things. We're going to acquire some skills. And see what is available. I have 6,000 points. What does Brandonian have? He's got another 6,000 points. So, let's look at augments. I could get radiance, which causes your lantern to consume less oil and illuminate a wider area. That actually seems really expensive. Holy cats. Well, let me think about that. Um, no? What was that? Press what? While writing steady shot, then release RB to fire. Okay. Makes aiming more difficult, but allows the arrows to pierce targets with greater impact. Okay, let's go back to vocations. I am rank six. Weapon skills. Cascade shot. Press the assign button. Steady shot. Press the assign button, then release RB to press the assign button again. What? Press the assign button. 
for steady shot, press the assign button and release RB. Okay, there we go. That's 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 the difference. So from sweep shot up to cascade shot fires a greater number of arrows. And it's been pretty good. I've been using that. Deathly arrow's good. Light Lindsian sight. An advanced form of keen sight that stabilizes the user's vision and consumes less stamina. Hmm, I'm not using that enough, to be 100% honest. Torrent. Oh my goodness. Fires multiple arrows in rapid succession. Rate of fire increases with consecutive shots. Prevents movement while active. Press the assign button and tap repeatedly. I really like that. Whirling arrow. Fires a powerful spinning arrow that delivers... Oh, a barrage of hits. Effective at overwhelming smaller targets can be employed while moving. And then I've got the exploding shot stop. Hmm. All right. Well, that seems nice. Let me think about those real quick. And this is roughly where I muted my microphone because my daughter's dog was barking and I didn't want you to have to listen to that. But it's okay. We're ready to move forward here. We've got uh, me just cutting out and quickly buying. Uh, some of the skills and augments for myself and for Brandonian. Got that taken care of. Now, what about Have you found any tokens? of the items we discussed, perchance? Yes. So that gives me Fairy Stone and the Ring of Vehemence, which knocks down foes, so it's like the Stone Ring in Dark Souls 2. So it gives you uh, a little bit more knockdown power. I appreciate that. I definitely can use it, that's for sure. And I'm looking already forward to switching away from Archer. Do come again. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. All right. What Over we... here, if you please. No. What I need to do is try to go looking for another place to be. Let's go see if we can meet with Grant. Hmm. Mayhap the one we're here to meet intends to arrive at a different time of day. Waiting yeah. around doesn't seem like to do as much good. What could we be missing here? Uh, it's an evening thing, so that's understood. This might be worth. So we're going to just do some stuff. I, I quickly cut over here to just finally deciding I was going to jump up and down on the roofs. Wound, try not to fall. And that board sticking out that way makes me think I could oh, jump sweet. across because I know I can't go over. I've tried oh, that man, yesterday. Yeah. So let's jump. Uh, I didn't even use the board. <laughs> oh, look, there's chests. Three chests. All right. Pick this. And a Seeker's token. Savant's boot. A license pack does one, doesn't it? I'd not realize I was carrying so much. Ah, now here's token? a surprise. At least all, right, all our more, efforts weren't for get naught. another item. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Yeah, you should. That would be good. Now, I actually, this is all fresh to me again. I don't remember what I was doing. I was doing something. But there's no way I can make that jump. Could I? This is most convenient. Should I try it? Let's Another jump. destination we were bound for is not far from here. I did. We'll I make our jump. way there in time. As to whether it will be sooner or oh, later. Oh, hey. That is for the Arisen to decide. And I've been on mute for the last several minutes, and I feel really dumb about it. All right, well, we have now finally returned to me having a microphone and using it at the same time, which is, uh, you know, kind of the point. Anyhow, sorry about that. I just got a little frustrated because I just looked down and saw that my microphone had been off for the last several minutes of me talking. <laughs> um, I've already been here. I've already been here. I need to go find a place to sit down and relax and spend some time and that is exact that ends house with nothing here that i care about here in the merchant quarter all right i'm gonna go uh find myself a rest get ready for the next quest and i will meet you in a second only by starlight she'll make for a nice change of pace that is the day. truth and it is time for us to whoa not jump down let's go down the stairs let's do this come on let's do this gently gently 
We're going to go down and talk first of all. Let's quest ourselves to... We're going to have a monster calling uh, report. So, he should be down now here. Now to report to Captain Brandt. Uh, Brandt is in if the... If you wish to meet with this person, I would gladly lead the way. Do it, Rugal. I think I can't remember how to get there. It's right down... Where's that? Rugal, where are you at? Welcome. Is he over there asking me to come the other way? All right, we'll come the other way. I still don't know my way around town just yet. There he is. Come on. Thank you, Rugal. I appreciate this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Now I know where we're at. the worse for wear. That's true. Let's have a conversation with him. Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? I do. And are we going to go to the other room and talk again? Just like before? Yeah. Oh, I knocked, uh, I knocked the thing down. Do you think anybody will notice? Okay. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. Yes, but I have a couple other things to deal with as well. So, let's talk about the... You've done a fine point. job culling those monsters, Your Majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the Arisen grows by the day. It's probably not good, actually. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Disa can no longer deny your presence. And here, it slips my mind. Pray. Take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. Okay. And with that, our task is done. Expeditioner's Cloak. Indeed, you've culled more than your fair share of monsters. I expect tales of your valor will soon be told in taverns. That is the plan, but I want to take a look at the new... The new... It look oh 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 it's the same thing I'm wearing oh lovely okay I can cut there is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your Majesty's okay. claim let's talk about the magistrate a place with books likely to entice Magistrate Waldo you say not springs to mind I'm afraid Kendrick of the gracious hand is versed in many things okay perchance he knows of such a place I am willing to go talk to Kendrick all right. I think I'll set that as the next there is major. Much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your and Majesty's claim as a true. Not ready to do anything about the masquerade, but let's tell me more about the false. While sovereign. examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds, I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flower. Hmm. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet, tis mm -hmm. strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Romond. Really? I dare say, t'was not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Crown flower, huh? It is a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I'm willing. I am glad to hear it. For I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deez's scheme and securing your enthronement. Deal? Um... That's another thing, but there let's... There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim okay. as a true... For some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. Uh -huh. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. Gotcha. But may up approaching the false sovereign at one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? Oh, I'm completely willing. My thanks. 
Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Okay. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. I'll need a mask. Here. This should ah. suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah. There is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Okay. I think I've got just the stuff we need. But there we're is done? much we ought to tend to. Yeah, that'll to be strength, all. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. We do indeed. Let's see if we can get into not the cage magistrate. Oh, 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 oh. I need to go over there. Need to approach the false sovereign. But not yet. I think right now. Oh, I gotta go back to Hara Village in a day or two. Gotta watch him and Disa's plot. That seems to be where we're headed now. It would seem we've a need to visit the palace. Sounds like it. Let's leave here and start navigating our way up towards the palace grounds. Uh, what is... There's a ladder here. Why is there a ladder here? And where does it take me? Hmm. Pray, follow me. Hold on. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? I think I just did. Didn't I? No? Is it over here? Yep. It's a fairy stone. Super handy stuff. All right, I can say that that was a worthwhile. Vermont was once a beast-ridden kingdom. Fast and light, sir. Indeed, okay. though it is not widely known among the common folk. All right, Vinia, you're taking me. I guess I'm following you. I do like that uh, the pawns can and will guide you through some stuff. Too quiet here for my liking. Got that to your liking? Okay. Now, what uh, I do want to read. Here we are. Very good. I do want to read the quest information. Queen Regent Disa would pursue her ambitions at any cost, even at the expense of the kingdom. If you are able, if you are to put an her schemes, you must uncover the evidence to prove them. Search for evidence of Disa's misdeeds. Yeah, Vernworth Castle offices. Through the rear gate between the hours of midnight and dawn and search the Queen Regent's office for incriminating evidence. Now, do I have a time anywhere on the map? Perhaps? I mean, I don't see a time. But I assume it's nighttime. All right, well, we're going to try. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. For a little while. Okay. It's not our place to hurry the Arisen. Very good. I have no idea what I'm going to be searching for here on the castle grounds. But we will do whatever we are I must ask able. you to leave this place at once. Yes, sir. It did say through the rear. You're not permitted to be here. Hmm. Okay. It did say through the rear entrance, didn't it? So, where would the rear entrance be? Go this way, perhaps? And then maybe go in this way. That seems to have worked. Okay. Um, I guess I gotta go out through this door. And here. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know that this is truly where I need to go. 
but things could go very pear-shaped very fast. So let's take a look at the map. I am going in the wrong direction. I need to turn around and head over towards, not the guardhouse, but certainly whatever is over there. Hmm? Yeah, because this is, I think, the audience chamber. I'm not going to the audience chamber necessarily. All right, let's consider... Burnworth Castle audience chamber. I don't know where the offices might be. Oh, wait! Wait, wait! Why are they attacking me? I mean, I know why they're attacking me. I'm clearly breaking in. But, uh... Hold fast! You have the strength to prevail! Oh, hold on, hold on. Nope, nope. This is, this is not, this is not what I was hoping for. Well. Um. Vinworth Castle Jail Tower. If you perform dubious deeds in cities, on castle grounds or in other such places where order is enforced, you may find yourself surrounded by the guard after which you will be arrested and thrown into jail. There are a number of paths to escape, but speaking with the jailer on watch is a good place. Start. Hmm. You ought to learn when to leave when. I mean, I have the jail key. Would that I ne'er had cause to draw steel. Okay. He doesn't seem to be too bothered by me. And he turned around and kept on walking, so that's okay. And can I get dressed now? I mean... Things have not gone as planned. Okay. Let's do items. I don't have my stuff. Uh-oh. I don't have my stuff. So, what do I do? Don't think... I'm in the jail tower, right? So... Hmm. That, that didn't work. At all. Did I get my I stuff back? I have been waiting for you, Arisa. I guess I'm getting all of my stuff back. I don't know what that means. Shall we make for Vernworth Palace? I mean, I tried Vernworth Palace. Let me get dressed. And that solves that. It appears that. to be locked, and we've no key. I, uh... Shall we try breaking it down? No, I we'll actually break easily, have a key. You know. All right. Now, which way did you guys come from? Because... Ah, Vania. Hello. Just about anywhere. Okay, that's fine. Wow, she uh a little exuberant there, isn't she? And this way? Okay, alright. So now we're in the uh the house of the dead. That's good. Over here if you would. I'm a coming. Got a little sidetrack there. I think I will try another night. We have arrived. Yeah, but it won't be during the daylight. That's for darn sure. As a matter of fact, this is probably where I'm going to let you go. It has been a little shorter episode than normal, but it, uh, you know, it has not come without its own hitches, and it is the end of a long day. So, I am the preacher. Thank you so much for joining me in Dragon's Dogma Two. Having a blast, time of my life, really. I hope to see you again the very next time. Yeah.